So a cast member just did just um did a magical moment. Bites from homecoming, and so Sarai is in there ordering them right now. So um, I'm not gonna try these, but Soraya and Christian and maybe Zion will try these. This is our next stop, Ooh, and this is where yeah. the shrimp and grits are, which I will not be eating. But Soraya and Christian and maybe Zion. We got our shrimp and grits from the polite pig, and and then. 
And then we got the the pickles and the cornbread. So we have pickles instead of the slaw and it has the cornbread. So this is the shrimp and grits from Polite Pig. As you can see, it's it was a pretty big piece of shrimp. I think it comes with four or five and they come on a stick on top of the grits. And it's just the same grits that you would get like with the meatball appetizer. Yeah. So we got a little bit of the grits and some of the shrimp. We're gonna try it a little. So the grits are good, as always. Mm -hmm. Very cheesy and buttery. The shrimp, it's not cooked to perfection. It's a little bit chewy, but it's seasoned well. I like whatever sauce they put on. I believe it's some type of pineapple sauce. I will double check that. Um, but Polite Pig usually gets it on the mark. I will get that again. Um, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, 10 out of 10. So we have the Gator Bites from Homecoming. It looks, it looks like, good. It looks and like it has a red And on the side of this, it have greens and some sauce cane too. Alright, so these are going to be the fried gator bites. This is just the appetizer portion from Chef Art's Homecoming. They look like um, little pieces of chicken to me. I keep calling them pieces of chicken, but it's fine. Um, but they appear to be fried and seasoned pretty well, so we're going to try it and see. Tastes just like chicken. It's very well seasoned. It's and like if you were to order, they probably order their fried chicken. It the tastes pretty much the same. It looks like chicken nuggets. Mm hmm. Couple of pieces are a little on the saltier side, but for the most part, it's really good. It also came with two mm -hmm. dipping sauces. I'm not going to try it right now because they're super messy. Mm -hmm. But this was some ranch. I'll probably slap. I'll give it 8 out of 10. It's a little bit chewy, but it's still pretty good. I would get it. I think 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, that works for me. So here is the key lime pie cake pop from the ganache tree. You can see it looks really good. It's got the chocolate on it. I don't know, really know what those are. It's just like some sprinkles on it, I guess. But I am super excited to try this. This is the key lime ganache key lime ganache pop from the ganache tree, and that's what the inside of it looks like. So we are going to try this now. Go ahead. Oh, it was really. I really like yeah, how like tasty. the chocolate kind of like melted in with the key lime pie, and it tasted. It was really nice. It was like it tasted kind of like. It was sweet, but not sickeningly sweet, if you know what I mean. And it, was, it was really nice. I like that. I think that's, that's one to get. We can end our video here. Yep, and I really liked the, the um, ganache cake pops. They were really, like, they were kind of on the sweeter side, and the chocolate layer wasn't as thick as I thought it was, as I thought it would be. But it actually and, came together really nicely. And for me, it did kind of melt in my mouth a little. It did kind of melt in my mouth a little. So we hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Yes. Don't forget, and don't don't forget, forget to, to like and subscribe, subscribe to and hit that. To and become to be an extraordinarian. And do not forget to hit that bell notification. And, and share with all your friends. All your friends. Thank you for watching. Thank you for Goodbye. watching. Bye. You are so, so, so cute. Okay, and uh, this is the end.